Today, we think about freedom. We are going to summarize its concept through Old and New Testament and then explore its concept and then we have time to apply it to us. Freedom is the state that emerges after God has acted to remove all hindrances, social, spiritual, sin and death, economic, and institutional, that block our creational purpose. This purpose is to know, love, worship, and enjoy God forever. This is a freedom that has been won for us by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the Christian seeks to live into this freedom and to join with God in freeing others while we wait freedom's full realization at Christ's second coming. Many Old Testament words related to freedom concern liberation from slavery, moral obligations, legal responsibilities, or economic distress. Generally speaking, freedom describes the release from any or all of these conditions. For example, the Hebrew term salah, to send away or to free. Salah describes the act of sending people away with the intended result of their freedom. Exodus 4.23 And I say to you, let my son go, that he may serve me. If you refuse to let him go, behold, I will kill your firstborn son. The adjective haspi, free, or a freed slave, it refers to a person who has been freed from slavery. Isaiah 58 from NIV version. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to lose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the oak to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Yobel, Jubilee Ear, Ram's Horn. This noun refers to the year of Jubilee that began with the sounding of a ram's horn. According to the stipulation of the law, every seventh year was a year of rest for the land. Every forty-ninth year, on the day of atonement, the people of Israel were to proclaim a jubilee, Yobel, which would take place during the fiftieth year. Furthermore, at the beginning of the jubilee year, all debts would be erased. If during the years since the last jubilee, a family had lost its land, it would be returned. If there had been a total lapse into poverty that caused an Israelite to sell himself or his family into servitude, jubilee would be the occasion of their freedom. The term is also used in Exodus to describe the trumpet blast that signaled God's appearance on the mountain and the giving of the law. Consecrate the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you is to return to your family property and to your own clan. Leviticus chapter 25 from NIV version. We now begin to explore the concept of freedom in the New Testament. Jesus' death has loosed or released Eleuthero, the believer, from the bondage of sin. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. John chapter 8 from NIV version. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. Romans chapter 6 from NIV version. Many basic meanings in Old Testament 
are also represented in the New Testament. Nonetheless, there is a noticeable shift in focus to freedom from sin and death as accomplished through the death and resurrection of Christ. Only through Christ can believers experience true redemption and freedom. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by your yoke of slavery. Galatians chapter 5 The New Testament also emphasizes that the believer's freedom is not for their own pleasure, but instead for the purpose of loving God and their neighbor. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. Galatians chapter 5 from NIV Today, we need to think about freedom. Point to ponder. Freedom is the state that emerges after God has acted to remove all hindrances. Verses to remember. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by your yoke of slavery. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 Question to consider Although believers have been liberated from spiritual slavery, what kind of servant do you want to become?